What's up guys, it's Ocean Engine Mori here, welcome back to another episode of the Liverpool Creamo. This is episode 2 now, so it is. Uh, I tried to record uh, an episode 2 before, so I did, but uh, my recording software corrupted, so it did, so you don't get to see that, unfortunately. Uh, I played one game, so I did, pre-season tournament final against Atletico Madrid. I won 2-1 in ultimate. I, the score was 2-1, it suggests that I was close, it was not close at all. May need to put sliders in the future sometime. Uh, so I made some signings, as you can see, there's Gutrona and Bailey on the bench there. Uh, also Neves. I also signed more players, I signed Tierney. And I left it with you in the last episode whether I should sign the Ligt. I'm going to wait for that for the next episode, I might play like the first two games of the season so I made. Against West Ham and Crystal Palace. Uh, it should be two alright games. Might win both of them. Okay, there's now a transfer offer from Augsburg for Lazar Markovic. Uh, he's worth 7 million, they've offered 6 million. Let's negotiate to get maybe 9 million out of the deal. I don't want to keep Markovic at the club. He uh, hasn't performed well in real life. It, he, I don't think he'll do well for us in the game. So we'll try and do that now. So 9 million. Let's see what they say. And they say no, 7.6, so we'll stick with 9 million for the time being. And they do not want to complete the deal. It's only one million more than, than they were willing to do it. Pretty sure I think we're have one more million to spend, but you never know. So we'll continue on, and I think more that happens, I'll, I'll keep you informed. So literally like two days later, there's another offer from Markovic, this time from Internacional from Brazil. I do not see that actual transfer happen in real life, but whatever. Uh, we will go in and negotiate for nine million again. Hopefully the Brazilians might be a bit more wanting to get the deal through. So 9 million, go through, please. 7.6 again, we'll go, no, we'll, we'll treat them the same. Stay at 9. They want 7.9, they're sort of negotiating this time. So we'll go down to 8.6, like we did, with Dusseldorf or something? Oh, Augs Augsburg goes, but they don't want to do it either. Don't know what's wrong with the extra 700k there, but so be it. So it's the 1st of August, uh, we knew we have a new offer from Markovic, so we do from Crystal Palace, Premier League club. If we're keeping them in the same league, I'm definitely demanding 9 million anyway. Uh, nothing short than 8.6 million, like I've always done. Crystal Palace should be able to fork that out. Uh, well, hopefully anyway, so 9 million at the start. Hopefully they accept that, and they don't, 7.1. Uh, stay at 9 million for one more time. What do they say? 7.2, going up by 100,000. So we'll go to 8.6, take it down by 400,000. And they do not want to accept. Will anyone take Markovic? <laughs> Please, one person. Because someone has to have more money to spend. Uh, so here, uh, there's no one so far. Uh, oh, Philip McMahon. Uh, he seems alright. 49, 69 overall, let me guess a bit 60 or so, 66 and 92 potential, that can always grow. Another person in Liam Kavanagh, 69 and 94 potential, Darwin simply isn't good enough, Dorm not guess, we'll just keep him. So, moving on to England, uh, Conor Clark not good enough, Ed Bennett not good enough, Ollie Cox not good enough, Davis not good enough, other Davis, we'll just keep him. Ethan Murphy not good enough. So we'll move on. Um, maybe to the first game. I'm not sure unless anything happens in between the first of August and then. So Callum Grabara has been loaned out. As you can see, he's a loan to Real Salt League. In real life, we did have a player named Brooks Lynn, I think, loaned out to them. But I think he's joined them permanently now. The young American, I think he's right winger or something. He may play like right back now for them. Doing a Jose Marino with them. So, uh, if there's no interruptions now, uh, we'll be moving on to the 12th of August for the first game of the season, which we do. It's going against West Ham, we'll go straight into it. Uh, ultimate difficulty, by the way, so that's going to be hard. Uh, they've got nice alternate kits that they do. They've nice kits in general that they do. Okay, so we're now going to the first game of the season. Uh, it's, got, it's in Anfield, so it is, so we're trying to get a home win, so we are. You might see how my face is like turned blue, so there's a time, I suppose, of the actual graphics passing along my screen. 
So it is. So yeah, yeah. As I said in the last video, if you want me to play any other games like Fortnite or like if you want me to do Ultimate Team in the future, just comment down below down there. Uh, I, I might do it. Uh, I got like I'm all right at Fortnite. I'm not really that good. I got a win, one win today after like ten games or something. Yes, so far. Oh, Salah. Yeah, I thought they looked a bit short, a bit flat actually in midfield previously. Ah, trying to be a bit too fancy there. That's a bit too narrow to my man there when he cut inside. Oh, come on, I, uh, you can't tell me to hit the post in there. You need to finish them chances. We're not going to no, we're not going to have a chance when the Champions League is going to be like this. Especially if they do put on sliders, which they probably will end up doing. But I can sort of like post on how good, how good I am, but I'm not really showing it so far. Let's try and maybe pass it up to... Is that Fabinho? Yeah. Okay, to... Go on, Firmino. Firmino needs to run up there. Maybe people cross it into him. Salah. Ah, oh, bad shot. Not good enough at all. Go on, see you. Ah, oh, I thought that went in there, but it wasn't offside. That's been that's been, that's been very closely played there. Sorry if you heard any commentary over my commentary, but uh, sorry, I just forgot that you can hear this on my own video. It's been a while since I re recorded like actual gameplay. So it is, so yeah, that's our mess up there. Yeah, I would have messed up the same in the last video, and it's 1 0. I should stop talking. But we're down to, is that Ogbonna? Yeah, Ogbonna scored that against us, really. Come on, we need a win. So plenty of time. I have felt I've I've looked more likely to score, and even though they have had more chances and more shots on target, but that's the way it is. Come on, really. Of course, these things happen if they if they score. If they score off that, I would be pissed. Go on, sell it. Oh come on! Can we switch play. I didn't aim there, but okay. Cross one. Oh, Failed to score that. <laughs> First of all, genie. Uh, you don't need to pull the theatricals there. Just step back and just head it in. So getting that little bit of a connection is not good enough. They've already nowhere near to go. Mane. Mane. Really? That close? Okay, we need to. We might bring on some subs soon. We'll go and attack him. Try and get this next goal as quick as possible. Maybe just in our next attack, maybe. Because we need it very soon. Look at how defensive the plane. No, literally, look at look at them. There's like five of my men. There's like seven of theirs. Get ready for the counter attack, maybe. That's what they can do. Really, that close, that close. We can win that. Okay, we don't win it. Oh, come on, literally, how? Why Why are their players actually so, so good getting to balls last second? But mine is like, no, I'm not getting to it. Gomez. I saw Arnold. See Salah running down there. Oh, what a ball. Why, why did he just stop, Balbuena? What are you doing? Oh, that's what Balbuena's doing. Shutting out our whole defence. Our, our whole defence. What am I talking about? And see how he does against Cresswell, isn't it? Yeah. Literally, no, no, we're, we're making subs, so we are. If we lose this, if we actually lose this, 
Bailey comes on down the le uh, the left as he yeah he's left footed. Controlly he comes on. Uh, we'll yeah we'll make him striker and we'll push Kaita up. We will can we have him there yet? Yeah. Center forward and we'll give that to Firmino. If Controlly maybe a little bit to there. I think we need Ruben Neves to come in uh, instead of. Fabinho maybe. No, not Salah. We know them. Yeah. So that's the three subs we're gonna make, and we're gonna go on and try and get that that winner maybe, uh, as long as, uh, as we get an equalizer at the start. There are the three subs on now, so I expect an impact, but I do not expect that from my best centre back. Salah, run down. Yeah, uh, getting ready for a counter attack. Maybe just head it on, Van Dijk. Or headed into the area again. No, we're not playing get rid. We're just, yeah, I know, I know we need to keep need to keep possession, but not that badly. Go on, Bailey. He was brought on to score, and he does that. Really. I swear if we lose, okay, I felt to keep a free kick to him because I accidentally tackled one of them. Oh come on, perfect timed header and Salah just doesn't get to it. It's against Cresswell as well. They're both around 5'7", and if Salah was jumping he should be able to get to that. Come on, someone, one he is. Oh, Katrona, keep that. Don't. Why do you take a heavy touch? I'm under attacking. There's nothing more I can really do. No, really. <laughs> we lost our first game at Anfield. I guess West Ham. <laughs> I swear, the amount of heavy touches at that at the end. By Bailey twice was it Salah at the end there? Just hit the first time. Don't take the extra touch. Well, same on to the next match against Crystal Palace. We missed out in three points in the last match. We're down to sixteenth. We shouldn't be anywhere near there. After all, it's only the, after the first game, but still, we're down sixteenth. So we'll go into the match now and hopefully try and get that win. So we're heading into the second game now against Crystal Palace. Uh, it's a disappointing first match against West Ham so we need to improve straight away and get this win against Crystal Palace. In real life we did beat like West Ham like 4-0 or something like that, I can't remember. It's been a while. Uh, but still, it's, it's still bad that we lost 1-0 and we should have won. Especially with our team and what we're trying to accomplish. So I expect us to bounce back in this game. And we're one it up for MD, at least we are. <laughs> Sorry for that comment over there. I did not expect to go up this early. I was like, uh, we'll just finish off this attack and then I might commentate and something after. But it was a well, well played attack, so it was. Uh, you can see there, he passed in and threw a ball through to Salah, who finishes it on his weak foot. Uh, it's against, who is it again? It's that guy, Calibur, is named Gaeta, is it? Or is it Hennessy and Go? I think it's Gaeta. He could have done better if he like kept his angles uh, better if he. I know you'd be naturally inclined to stay at the post there, but you could sort of stay in the middle and just have uh, yourself ready to dive at both sides. But you know Van Dyke, you know what, what he can do on his day in this game. Tierney's through. Dribble. Ah, come on. That should have been 2-0. Down to Fabinho, 
Over to Mane. Sadio Mane. Yes, there we go. 2-0. And I don't know how to write in this one the last game, but we have two now. Uh, so two now. Uh, there's another good goal as well. Uh, another low driven shot. Uh, they, they're not as OP as last year, but they're still very OP. So they're it, it, like special in front of goal and you hit it with a lot of power. Like you can hit it with like four dollars of power and it, it'll go to the roof of the net, but I say keep it like sort of low power. So it goes high. Uh, Gaeta there. We might have been able to get to it, but he sort of dived low and couldn't get to it. Like, as a goalkeeper, uh, low shots are harder to defend against. If, if the shots are like alright height, like, not like top corner like, directly, uh, they're easier to save them down low. So, we need to get this ball back, make sure they don't score, even though we do have two goal cushions, which is always safe at any point in any game. Salah, run. He's got good pace in him. Wait. And that's it, 3-0. I know I was sort of sweaty, but we, we need any goal we can get. I saw Manny there, completely free. It's what we need him to do in the best interest of the match. We might be looking for a more fancy goal there with a, with a, with a time finish. A perfect time finish for Ness, top corner, but no. As long as he goes in. Great tackle from Fabinho. Sets Salah through again. It took a deflection, that's why it's nowhere near Salah. Salah runs. Oh, he almost got onto it. Oh, it's a good ball, so we need to make sure we defend well. That's a good ball, too. And that's Kieran Tierney. When he's saying he gets there, that's, that's perfect. Uh, Ruben Neves, that's who I'm controlling now. Had to make sure it was him. And I should stop talking about Ruben Neves. Cause is that Sheikou Kuyate? Yep. If, if it's not West Ham scoring against me, it's the people who used to play for West Ham scoring against me. So we're now back into the action. So there's no, there's, you only want to miss and it happens here because you never know what will happen. It's 4-1 so it is. Dial with a beauty of a goal. Up inside, so he does. Lots of space. Throws it in, so he does. Off the post. Four oh, and up now. I don't see us losing. I, I say I wouldn't need to put sliders on sometime. Napoli. Yeah, we've got a big run of fixtures coming up. Like Spurs as well. Again, why is everyone trying to do bicycle kicks? Or acrobatic kicks? It's highly unrealistic that everyone does it all the time. Because uh, there's been too much in the, these last two games. Like you wouldn't see it in an actual game. They brought on a player there, I didn't recognise him straight away. Oh, it's Ward. And then Kelly. Martin Kelly used to play for us, we did. It was a while ago, I can't remember how we did. I don't think he was overly good. Because if he was that good, we wouldn't have sold him. But we do allow Andros Townsend to score a header. A powerful header. I don't know how he could uh, have generated that much power from his head. It was a good goal anyway. I was caught off guard there. But at least we do have the four goals. We're just outscoring our team that we're playing against now. Oh, we want it back. Keep it. Come on, don't lose it. Oh, close. Imagine that one in. We scored five in one game. That would be perfect for this episode. Like, we scored a right bit of goals, but none of the goals have been like, spectacular, if you get what I mean. They've been alright, but they've not been like, too good. I expect to see better goals to get more used to this team and more used to the game as a whole. That's a, that's a time for Nestor. there. Five goals in the game. That's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's hard to do on offense, so it is. But it is Crystal Palace. It's a team that we are looking to beat. But we do have Zaha. I'm not sure if he's playing. 
I'm the install most of it. All I saw is Andros Tense and Rip Shadow. I might sense a lot when I myself, I'm not sure. Probably won't. Because there's, there's not really much chance of me yet being a, a future partner. So we're through here now. Crossing in. Ah, uh, no look. And that's the end of the game. So this is going to be the last game in the episode, so it is. So, Manny scored a hat-trick that game. I not remember that, but he did. So fair play to Manny that game. If I was to give like, a player an episode, it would be to Sadio Manny there. He did very well this game, apparently. I did not pay much attention to that. Uh, but Sadio Manny did well. Because he's well on his way to become the top scorer in the league. Probably is now, just check that. So I'll check the league table as a whole in general. So uh, up top are West Ham who beat us and also beat someone else. Let me see who that was. Bournemouth. So Augsburg going after Alfonso Davies. There's an, also there's a transfer offer for Basil Markovic from Leeds United. They uh, did agree with them if you didn't know. Uh, I'll, I'll really try and sell them to them because uh, I wouldn't mind Leeds United picking up one of our players. I prefer them with any other English club. So let's propose a new transfer offer. 8.8 million to start off with. And they match it so they straight away. So Leeds United they're always they're they're good. They're to solve my problems basically. So Kieran Tierney, uh, he's among four of the people that were training. B B A C B uh, it's good results. So, yeah, that's good. The yeah, episode's been alright. This first game was a wee bit bad, so it was. Uh, when I lost to West Ham, we should have done a lot better. On my part, I should have done a lot better. And the team should have performed a lot better. The uh, second game, we performed like we should have. Mane is now the top scorer, and we beat uh, Crystal Palace 4 2. Was it? No, it was 5 2, wasn't it? So, that's going to be it for the video. If you liked the video, give the, give the video a like down below. Also make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell uh, so that you never miss out on any of my uploads. Uh, YouTube's been a bit broken recently so it doesn't notify you every time I send out a video. So you'll always be sent out a video if you hit that notification bell. It's down there right beside the red subscribe button if you haven't got it clicked already. If if you do have it clicked already and you're subscribed to the channel, uh, if, thank you if you are, uh, you're really supporting me. Uh, it's, the, it's the wee bell, grey bell beside it. Just click that and you, you should be notified then. So that's going to be it for this video. See you in the next video. Peace.